Now, in France, there's no such thing as a shepherd's pie, but there is a parmentier. Essentially, it's a meat stew with a delicious mash on top. I'm going to change mine up today by using some confit of duck. And instead of classic potato, I'm going to add a sweet potato mash on the top. So this is quite a large sweet potato. I'll cut it in half first and we'll cut it into chunks. And I'm going to get this on to start with. I like to use the sweet potato for this. I think the sweetness of the potato goes really nice with the richness of the duck. But you could use classic potato too if you like. That now goes into a pot. Now I'm going to be using the 12 piece Ingenio set. I love this set of pot and pans because it comes with a detachable handle. It's also oven safe, non-stick. And the best part is it's stackable, so it's space saving. And that's what we need when we've got a smaller style kitchen like I do. So in with our sweet potato, I'll add a pinch of salt. And whenever you're cooking root vegetables, you always start with cold water and bring it up to the boil. So onto the heat, I'll grab my detachable handle, turn that on, and we'll cover that with some water. All right, we'll let that come up to the boil. Let's get on with the duck. Now, I'm cheating slightly. You can make your own confit of duck. I do have a recipe for that on the website or use some confit of duck legs. You can get this from a lot of your supermarkets now and it's fantastic. So we're just going to open the pack. I've preheated my oven to 190 degrees. These are already cooked. What we're doing essentially is just warming them up before we add them to the stew. So we're just trying to speed up the whole process. So I'm going to use the large pan in this set and you want to use quite a large pan for this to fit them all in one singular layer. Just separate them. Ah, oh, perfect. Nice and snug. And they go in the oven for about 15 minutes. So we'll just pop that straight in. Now, while they're cooking, we'll get onto the base of the stew. So with another pan, we'll pop this onto a medium to high heat. And I'm just going to take my handle here. And if you like, you can wait for the duck to come out and use that lovely duck fat to fry your vegetables or get a head start, which is what I'm trying to do here. So a glug of oil, just a small amount and we'll saute our vegetables. So I'm keeping it really simple, just some classic onion, just like any other stew, and some celery. So a few stalks of celery, good old garlic, three cloves of garlic. I'll just bruise them first and then roughly chop them. In it goes. With this stew, I'm just really trying to pair up flavours that go well with the duck. So another great addition to that is some orange zest. So just with a zester, we'll add that to the pan. That should do it. Pepper. And some sage. I'd say at least six big leaves of sage. Mm, already smells fantastic. All right, I'm going to let that cook down to soften. It's going to take about five to eight minutes. And over here I have some porcini mushrooms, some dried porcini mushrooms. So I've just placed them into some chicken stock and just allowed them to rehydrate so they become soft. So I'm just going to squeeze that out of the stock, which we will use later on when we get our duck out of the oven. And we'll just roughly chop them. So just run your knife through it one or two times. And that can also go into the pan with the onions. Done. OK, we'll just wait for that to cook away. We'll wait for our duck to finish cooking. Once it comes out of the oven, just let it cool slightly before removing all the meat from the bones. All right, duck is out of the oven and it's cooled slightly, so I'm just going to use a sharp knife just to shred the meat. Look at that. That's just so perfect, how it just falls off the bone. I'll take all the meat off and then I'm going to combine it with all this lovely duck juice and fat and the onions and celery.
Now that I've combined the cooked onion and celery with the duck, we can get on to making this into a bit of a ragu. So I've just got this on a medium to high heat. Let's mix it together. And you can see I've got little chunks of the duck and some big chunks. So a little flour, because this is sort of a shepherd's pie after all, we want a thick sauce. So about a, a tablespoon or so of the flour. And the flour goes in first because we do want to cook off the rawness of it. So combine it and let it toast slightly. And to give this some depth of flavour, some tomato paste. And just like the flour, you do want to cook it off slightly. I'll deglaze this pan with some white wine, about half a cup. And just let that bubble away. You don't want to be adding the stock immediately because you've got the rawness of that wine. So just let that bubble away. Once you start to smell a lovely aroma from the wine, then you know it's time. Okay, now in with our stock. So this is a combination of the chicken stock and the mushrooms have also flavoured this liquid. And now we let this bubble away and become thick. So essentially everything's cooked there. We're just reducing that sauce. Over to the sweet potato. I have drained my sweet potato. So you can see that they're perfectly cooked. And like any good mash, you need lots of butter. So at least two to three knobs of butter. I will add a pinch of salt to this. And with a masher, I'm just going to mash that all together. It's not like a classic potato where it needs a lot of milk. So I just need a small splash of milk here just to really bind it together. Give that a mix. And I'll use a wooden spoon now just to whip it slightly. Not too smooth. I don't want it to be too smooth. I still want some texture in this. And you can see how thick and reduced our gorgeous duck ragu is. So just using your spoon, dollop the sweet potato mash over the top. Just spread it out so it's quite even. And you can see, because of this large size pan, this is going to feed four hungry people. You could even get six portions out of this easy. And just with this wooden spoon again, we're just going to spread that out. I don't like to take it all the way to the sides just because I kind of like the idea of that duck bubbling over and caramelising right on the edges. And this is good to go as is, but if you like a little more caramelisation on the top, just a very light sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. If you want to keep it truly French, you could use some Gruyere cheese or some Conte. Done. This now goes into the oven. We're going to cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's caramelised on the top. How good does this duck parmentier look. Now this is a dish you take to the table as is and let everyone serve themselves. I'm going to take a nice portion here. This is supposed to be saucy, okay? So we've got that lovely sweet potato on the top and that delicious duck on the base. Beautiful portion there. Look at that. So good. Little more. And for me, you serve this quite simply because it is quite rich with beautiful salad of greens. That is a delightful winter dish. Forget about the lamb shepherd's pie. It's all about duck parmentier, as the French say. It sounds a bit fancier, doesn't it? <laughs>